Time Magazine celebrated its 100 most influential people with a gala in New York City, honoring dozens of leaders across many industries. The Time 100 party brought some of the world's most influential people all under one roof. This year's list includes artists, athletes, icons, and pioneers in their fields. And our own Gail King made the list for the first time. I just believe in dreaming big. And I never even dreamed this big, and I'm standing here on the Time 100 carpet. To get this um, award is just something that I never even dreamed of. I always want to influence people for the better, and I always want to make people smile and make people happy. So the fact that people were like, okay, you're doing exactly that right now, it's just really awesome. Big smiles there. And we should point out that almost half of those honored this year are women. Yeah, they said that's the most ever. Yeah. yeah. That was nice. And Gail, we want to let you know that we spoke to some people on the red carpet last night who wanted Ruh -ruh. to share their messages <laughs> with you. So take a listen. <laughs> she's so awesome. She's so strong. When I first met you, I was like, oh man, she's so lucky because she has Oprah as a friend. And now getting to know you, I'm like, oh no, Oprah's lucky to have a Gail in her life. We all should have a Gail. So congrats on everything. Gail. <laughs> Way to go, Gail. You're killing it, girl. I'm very, very proud of you. And we kind of share these covers, which is cool. Watch this. There she is. She's a star. Gail is one of the kindest people in the world. She's also kind of the heart and soul of our show. Gail will sometimes say the thing that is on her mind oh, yes. and that needs to be said and that perhaps others wouldn't say. That's and there's right. a kind of wonderful <laughs> candor about Gail. <laughs> I was even having trouble being candid about that. So but you John, said, I lack your so skill. Funny. A man came up to me yesterday and he said, you know what? Sometimes you say things I don't even know that I'm thinking, which <laughs> I thought was a very funny way to say it. But I have to say a special shout out to the CBS photographer. I think it was Daryl last night. It was Terrence on the red carpet last night because I had these hot flashes. There's no good time to have it, but I started sweating like a Brahma bull. And he said, you might want to stop for a second and, you know, wipe yourself off. There's no good time, but it looks like I'm having an illness of some kind. <laughs> so I really appreciate him calling because you're walking down that thing. But I have to tell you guys, it was so much fun. Nora and John, we've been going to these things for a very long time. And I've always liked just being, as I've said, being a looky-loo in the room because there's always somebody you want to meet, somebody yeah. you want to talk to. So it was really a kick. Glenn Close and I were sort of pinching each other. Can you believe we're on the list this year? That is really how it felt to me. Yeah. Well, it was fun for us, too, to collect compliments for yeah. you, too. So, we'll, you know, we it bring them to you it like It does Valentine's. take a village. It really does. What we do here is a huge, huge team effort. And I'm forever grateful for everybody that we work with in this room.